Alright guys, welcome back into another PGA DFS video. This week we've got the BMW Championship. And just kind of quickly going over it, so the BMW Championship, top 70 players in the field. After this week, top 35 will go on. So this is definitely more of a GPP week. You really got to cut down your player pool and kind of hope that the players that you're on go out and do a top 10. A P players can play well, but you can still lose. And that's kind of why I don't like playing in these events like this. I really wish that DraftKings would come out with some other different format. Uh, maybe how it kind of FanDuel does it where they have a captain spot, then a 1.5x and 1.25x spot. I would like that a lot. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that maybe DraftKings can come out with like a showdown site like that or something. If there is a showdown site, I'll probably attack that a little bit more. Um, but this is definitely a week where wherever whatever you entered last week, you should at least cut that in half. Because the edge that you gain by playing it smart, by playing players that are going to make the cut, you kind of lose that. And honestly, this is just more of luck. You can have three players top 10 and not have the winner, and you're not going to catch. It's just kind of how it goes. Um, that, so I just really don't like to play these weeks kind of competitively. I like to just play them for fun. I don't put in a ton of money. So that's just kind of me being up front with you guys. Let's get into the course overview, though, for the BMW Championship. I do want to say that this is a beautiful course. And also, while I'm thinking of it, if you haven't checked it out yet, check out the reaction to the players on the Corn Ferry Tour um, making the PJ Tour Honestly, Sir Sent, Twitter, it was pretty awesome. I mean, that's why we play golf, and that's why people like golf. Just a really cool kind of experience for those people, and it's kind of cool to see that on camera. All right, begin to the BMW Championship. The key stats that we're going to be looking at are going to be strokes gain total, ball striking, greens, and regulation. These greens are really small, as you can tell um, from that photo. So you might want to look at proximity as well. We're also going to be looking at uh, ball striking as well. I will be looking at strokes gain, to pro, or strokes gain around the green because I do think a lot of players – I'm going to miss the green, miss the green short. So we want to look at that stroke scan approach stat as well. Um, some course fits, Rory, John Rahm, Xander, Paul Casey, uh, Jason Kolkrak, Scott Piercy. And honestly, part of the strategy this week is just going to be looking at course fits, but also just people that are in some really good recent form. I think that will be the way to go. Obviously, the more top 10s this week, the better. And we kind of want to get some bonuses in there, maybe, you know, sub 70 rounds. It's kind of just more of an interesting week, definitely more of a GPP week. I'm not sure you can even play cash this week uh, just because it's, you know, the edge is pretty much gone. Everyone's kind of on the same playing field. It's just a matter of getting the right players in the right spots. All right, get into the player pool here. I do love the high end pretty much from Tommy Fleetwood up. I don't really think you can make a wrong choice. It's just a matter of making the best decisions or the best choices possible. And just given their price points, I think, I would go with John Rahm over Brooks and Rory. John Rahm has just been on a tear. We know that. Um, he's top 40 in greens regulation, par 5 scoring, total driving, ball striking, stroke scan total, stroke scan putting, and stroke scan off the tee. So those are all stats that we're going to be looking at. And he is top uh, 40 in all those stats. So we do really like that. Justin Rose, we kind of know he struggled on the middle part of the year. But recently, his game, he's found it again. He's just been dominating recently. So I really do like that recent form. You can definitely pay up for him. The only other one that I'm actively going on my way to pay up for is going to be Justin Thomas here. Justin Thomas, kind of like Justin Rose, just kind of lost his game for a little bit. Thomas's was more due to an injury, but he's kind of found it. They're gamers. They like to turn up at the end of the year in these you know higher caliber competitions. So there's two players that I really do like. Now, Louis is tasting kind of always just a GP play, but he's fourth in his strokes gain around the green, which I really like. He's a really accurate driver, which I think will be a good stat, and he's top 34 in strokes gain total. Now, Xander Shoffley ranks out as one of the better plays um, this week. Top 10, according to my model. I do really like him as a strong play. Hopefully, he bounces back and has a good week. He has been trending in the wrong direction, which is something we don't like to see. Now, Paul Casey would be a core play. He's a player that is trending in the right direction, which is what you want to see. Um, he is top 10 in greens regulation, par 5 scoring, total driving, ball striking. He's 12th in strokes gain total, 9th in strokes gain off the tee, and he's top 50 in strokes gain approach and driving accuracy. I just really like the good current form. I like the staff hit. Paul Case at that price point. It's going to be tough for me to pass up. Going a little bit lower, yes, Billy Horschel has been rolling. And like I said last week, if we're going to be playing Billy Horschel, then we got to consider uh, Brent Snedeker. They're pretty much the same play. And those guys have pretty much just been cut makers, but they're playing a little bit better. Don't mind slight GPP um, exposure to them. Now, Matt Kuchar, it's just been trending in the wrong direction. It kind of came to fruition uh, last week that he missed the cut, but I should mention he is one of the better staff hits in the field, so it won't surprise me if he bounced back and had a good week. Ian Poulter, eight top tens on the year. 
His game is finally coming back. He kind of had a midseason lull as well. Really don't mind him as a GPP play as well. Uh, Jason Kolkrak, I think he's going to go unnoticed again. I really like the way his game's kind of been trending. Um, he almost missed a few cuts um, like about a month ago, but found a way to make the cut. Now he's rolling again. Pretty decent staff fit. Top 20 in total driving, ball striking, and strokes gain total. Uh, Kevin Kisner is just one of those players that seems to step up when the competition does. And so I really don't mind him at that price point in this field. Really not too bad of a play for me. Um, <clears throat> I really like Sun JM once again. One of the better staff fits in the field. Um, it's just he kind of always seems to have one bad round that screws over his round. I mean... If you take out that one bad round last week, he's right in contention to win. And kind of same thing for um, at the Wyndham Championship. So hopefully he can string together four solid rounds. Maybe we can get a win out of Sun JM here. Like I said, he is one of the better staff hits at that price point. I like that play um, in GPPs. Now, Charles Howell, Lucas Glover, and Scott Piercy here, all great staff hits. It's just a matter of if they're performing. These guys are kind of where they're at in their career because they're not clutch, pretty much, is how to sum it up. They're really good golfers. They're one of the top players each and every year on the tour. Maybe not Scott Piercy, but the other two are definitely are. And they're just not clutch. Or else they would be like top 10 in the world if they could come up and win some tournaments and just kind of play well in the big tournaments. And they just don't do that. They play well throughout the whole year, but they just can't win it on the big tournaments. I do really like Scott Piercy, though. I'm going to keep playing him. Played him the whole year. Might as well keep playing him. Troy Merritt, I do like him as a GPP play. We saw it come together where... 12 last week, miscut. Second overall, miscut. He's just kind of, if his game's on, he's going to have a really good week. If it's not, he's not. Same thing for Corey Connors there. I mean, Corey Connors has been a GPP stat fit the whole year, pretty much. Um, but his game hasn't always mimicked what the stats say, and he hasn't had like good weeks all the time. He has had three straight top 30 finishes, which I do like. Game seems to be trending in the right direction. Vaughn Taylor is going to be a good play for us there. He's just been making cuts. I don't think he's going to pop too much, but Maybe if you want to lock in a top 30 finish, that's what you go with for a value play. This is kind of the GPP build I'm thinking of. But that's all I have for you guys. Not going to do core plays this week just because the field is so small. Only 70 players. Um, I think the best thing for you guys to do is to narrow down your player pool as much as you can. And just kind of go from there. And that way, you're narrowing down your player pool. If you have the right players, you're going to have a really good week. And if you don't, well, you didn't enter it in too much. You didn't enter too much money in there. So it's not going to be a bad week. All right, I do want to touch on it. Got the preseason DFS video coming out on Wednesday for you guys, the full slate. I might be breaking down the other slates that are going to be involved as well. Cashed three out of four slates last week, so it was a really good week. Also had a top four finish last week. I think it, I'd have to check it. I think it was the Friday slate, so it's a pretty nice week uh, for preseason DFS week one, so check that out. I do have the NFL DFS membership available on the Patreon page. I also have the PGA DFS membership for you guys here, so make sure to check that out. $5 a month for the PGA DFS membership, $10 a month for the NFL DFS membership. All right, that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and as always, let's keep cashing.